a very good morning to all of you i hope you all are fine in yesterday class we did some conditional we uh, did some conditional statement like if if else alif okay after that we see some uh, loop statements also like while loop and for loop fine in for loop when we define for loop we go to one thing that is range now i in ye uh, yesterday class i already explain you about the range that how we mention a range in the for loop so you can see here for x in range that till what range here first one you know from where you have to start till what range you have to go and how many steps you move further so, okay three things are mentioned in the range and it's not compulsory if you man uh, if you including range that you have to always mention these three things you can uh, done with one parameter also like a start a stop and a stop uh, a step okay a step will fine now today we will see a difference between range and x range when we need a range and when we need a x range when you have to return your program have to return the list of numbers okay return the list of numbers then you will use range if program has to return the generator object that can be used to display number only by looping i will give you example also for this so you can understood understand better okay now so x range is the returns the generator object second point the variable storing the range takes more memory fine uh, and in case of x range it will take less memory all the operation that can be applied on the list can be used on it and the operation associated in case of x range operation associated to list cannot be applied on it so that's why range have a slow implementation and x range have a faster implementation now have a look yeah here you will see range and x range are two function both are used to iterate a certain number of times in for loop in python okay but x range was only defined in the python 2 not in python it is not in python 3 fine so in python 3 there is no x range but the range function behaves like a x range so you should know whether it's defined in python 3 or not but you should know what's the difference between the range and the x range as i told you that range return a range object a type of iterable suppose uh, you have to print a table of 2 fine to usme kya hai tum bataoge you will tell that uh, the programmer will tell from where you have to start and till what point you have to stop and how many step you want to jump fine so that a iterable thing now x range the this function return generator object that can be used to display number only by looping only number only particular ranges display on demand hence called lazy evaluation if someone ask uh, what is lazy evaluation that is x range itself fine so both are impl implemented in different ways and have different characteristic associated with them first one is if you see the comparison first one is return type then second memory operation uses speed i already told you four things that return in return type fine return type also memory uh, that range took more memory than the x range fine and is speed also that range has a slow implementation and x range has a high fine now we will see the program so you can better understand the difference between the range and the x 
if you see here a is equals to range 1 then till 10,000 fine it initialize with the range and if you see x x range 1 comma 10,000 fine now the return type of this range 1 a if you ask for a return type of a then what will be the return type of this and next for the x range now we will see what output will come here you will see that return type of range is list fine return type of range is list it will show you that its return type is list because it will print the number started from 1 to 10,000 that's why it's list but in case of x range it's a generator of object as I told you so it will uh, it will gives you type x range itself fine now we will see one more example here the program is same but in the print statement you will say sys dot get size of a and 40 fine it's just take how much memory it's taking if you see for the range it's taking 80064 and for uh, x range 40 fine now next for operation uses here if 1 to 6 and if we uh, uh, trim a string okay we are using a function to trim a list then what it will give you is it will slice or not now first you will get error because x the list after x range now here the first one is a225 okay so it will gives you 3 4 and 5 because you want an element between the 2 and the 5 so 3 4 and 5 but in case of x range because is it is a what it will print an error and error what error will come this error will come the sequence index because it's a x range it's a generator of an object that while it will throw an error an error will come sequence index must be in each integer not slice okay now about the speed as i told you the range will be used is slow and x range is faster fine now we will come to jump statement now Wait a minute. Okay. Now we will look at jump statement. There are basically two jump statement in the pattern. First one is break and the second one is break uh, continue statement. If you see break the literal meaning of break is just cut off okay that you want to it's just saying that break here with the break statement we can stop the loop even if it is true when you have you have you want you can use break you can use break when you stop the loop even if it is true in while loop we will see one example i is equals to 1 while i is less than 6 print i if i is double equals to 3 break i equals to uh, plus equals to 1 now dekho yahan par kya hai i is equals to 1 theek hai while i is less than 6 jab tak i 6 se less hoga tab tak i print hota rahe fine अब यहाँ पर condition दी है, if i is equals to 3, जब हमारा i 3 हो जाए, then this statement will get a break, and उसमें increment हो जाए, fine, अब क्या होगा यहाँ पर, 
सिंपल सा है कि जब भी i इक्वल्स टू वन के लिए अगर हम इस स्टेटमेंट को यहाँ से हटा दें तो ये लूप कब तक चलता जब तक कि हमें वैल्यू सिक्स नहीं मिल जाती लेस देन सिक्स नहीं मिल जाती फाइव तक ये लूप चलता बट यहाँ पर इस कंडीशन का मतलब है जैसे ही i इक्वल्स टू थ्री हो तब ही हमारा जो है लूप ब्रेक हो जाए वहीं पर स्टॉप हो जाए ओके okay? अगर हमें ट्रू कंडीशन में भी लूप को ब्रेक करना है तो वी कैन यूज ब्रेक वाइल वेन द कंडीशन ट्रू नाउ वी विल सी द सेम थिंग इन द फोर लूप हेयर अ लिस्ट इज डिफाइन ओवर हेयर फाइन फॉर एक्स इन अ लैंग्वेज इफ एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू पाइथन जैसे ही पाइथन आई लूप ब्रेक हो जाए प्रिंट एक्स फाइन there is one note for a break statement that if break statement appears in nested loop then it will terminate the loop where now so you can see here output as well that it will when python will come it will not include python it just break down and it will print this output fine so next is your loop else statement uh wait sorry wait a minute yeah we have our own yeah in the break statement if the break statement appears in nested loop then it will terminate the very loop it is in if the break statement is inside the inner loop then it will terminate the inner loop fine only the outer will loop will continue as it is next is your continue statement in continue statement with the continue statement we can stop the current iteration and continue to the next iteration fine current iteration ke sath sath we can continue with the next iteration also i equals to 0 while i is less than 6 i plus equals to one. If i is equals to three, continue and print i. That means कि जब तक i less than six है, हर बार i की value में increment होता रहे one का. जैसे ही i equals to three i, fine. It will continue. No break here. Continue. That means you have to continue if i equals to three also. So it will not print three. It will else it will print the All values, fine. Mention in the list. And here the same thing is here. It will not print Python, else it will print Python and Java because continue. Only it will skip the values mentioned in the condition. Fine. Now, next is your loop else statement. As you all know about the else statement, uh, in the If if condition, but here we will see loop else statement. When we are using while loop or a for loop and else statement, what else statement will do inside the loop? Now the else statement of Python loop execute when the loop terminates normally. Okay. The else statement of the loop will not execute when the break statement terminates the loop. The else clause of loop appears at the same indentation. Uh, indentation. Fine. Always remember that the else indentation will be same as the loop indentation. If four is here, the else will be on the same indentation as the loop of keyword while or a for loop. And you can see the uh, statement also. It's your for loop. Then. Else is just on the indentation of four, and you can print the statement same as with the while loop. Now, nested loop, very easy that uh, a loop inside the loop. If you want to use lot of loop inside uh, inside another loop, okay, one loop another loop. So that is known as nested loop. Here you can see one loop is there. And see, second loop is mentioned statement and again statement. If you see the indentation, fine. For this, that it's so it's fine. 
that this loop is inside this one loop okay no problem but what is the execution of this loop which is inside this loop here you will see the indentation that is it, it is inside this and it is for this loop this statement is for this loop because indentation always exists in the python now you can see one example also for i in range 1 4 for j in range 1 i print and and print so this statement will execute for this loop and this statement will execute for this loop fine now we will see some program and you these program you have to do in your notebook also fine write a program to check a number whether it is even or odd first is this one that you have to check a number whether it is even or odd you just take a number from the user if num percentile is equals to zero then number is odd if you get no remainder then number is even otherwise number is odd now next program is write a program in a python to check a number whether it is prime or not num is equals to in input enter number for i in range 2 num if num percentile c 0 then print this break here you will see we get a break fine else print this and this break is for this loop fine so it will break if num percentile i is equals to 0 then it will say is not a prime number next write a program to check the year whether it is leap year or not write a program in a python to convert uh, centigrade to fahrenheit and vice versa i'm uh, repeating again and again all these program you have to do yourself in your python ide and take a screenshot of that and attach them don't write it from here use your mind use your brain and do yourself fine now next is write a program to check number whether it is palindrome or not A number is a next is a number is a Armstrong number or not to check whether number is a perfect number or not write a program to print Fibonacci series next to print a pattern using a this is the pattern and you have to uh, print this pattern using nested loop okay now one of the student asked me that ma'am if my uh, python is installed in some other drive and uh, if I write in command prompt in some other drive. So it will give version python version or not. If you see my python is uh, installed in C. Okay if I want to know the version I just write down python here it will give. Now if I want to yeah okay I just control Z or control Z okay if I will continue with some other drive I now I am in E drive I will write Python here will it give version or Python version yes or no yes it will give if Python is installed on your computer okay if python is not installed on your computer it will not give you an version fine so it's i hope it's clear now have a good day and study hard